Hey guys, it's Kelly, the director who will make Dragon Knight to release his movie in 2024. This is the end of review video that Jesse always does. It's only 17 minutes, which I'm surprised, because usually his videos are better on the longer side, like at least, I, they're usually, I believe, around like 40 minutes. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but um, yeah, and I know you guys are probably waiting for my Christmas haul video. I promise that's coming, I may record that today, have it come out tomorrow, and record it tomorrow, and upload it tomorrow, but we'll see. I was going to do it today, just been a crazy day so far but um also another weird thing happened i went to charge my phone last night and my neither of my chargers were working and the chargers are fine because they charge my ipad but uh and i tried my mom well my mom tried her charger and it worked so it's so weird i don't so i charge because i'm low battery mode because i have to charge my ipad but um it's just so weird to me that that's happened i'm gonna try again later with my chargers hopefully that will work but um yeah let's just get right into the video also speaking of two nothing with jesse um he is doing better he's out of the hospital you guys have been following him on twitter he also posted on his channel in the community post it's in the hospital he has p p a c s p pox whatever you want to call it um it's a hard thing when you have an irregular heartbeat, pretty much. Um, when I Googled it, it doesn't say it's serious or anything. Um, and he thinks it's probably from COVID, you know? Because a lot of people, since they got COVID, has had um, permanent health issues now from it, which sucks. So I'm sorry for anyone who does have permanent health issues from it. But yeah, Jesse's doing better. I'm glad to hear. I hope he continues to do better. I hope he doesn't have any more health issues. Also, Happy New Year, guys. I have a feeling 2024 is going to be a good year. Just stay positive. What was it, yeah? I mean, it also makes sense that it's not super long today. Because not that much happened this year, no? Because think about it. For like a couple months, he's just worked on a movie. So he wasn't really uploading. And just in general, nothing much happened. You know? Jeffrey's having a baby this year, so that's exciting. I hope Jeffrey has a girl, to be honest. And yes, guys, I am still a little sick. I am doing a lot better, but still, like, my nose is running a little bit. My throat still bothers me, but... first feature film year of the radioactive butterfly what a wild volatile year it's been with ups and downs a crazy roller coaster ride of life this might take the cake for coldest end of year video i've ever done so i'm gonna make it quick as beautiful as the montage was let's do a quick recap of some of the highlights of 2023 for the first time in a long time i actually felt like i developed a better relationship with the camera after many years of burnout and just not feeling like i wanted to do this i committed to a weekly upload schedule on this second channel which aside from making the movie i I 
actually kept to. We've had a lot of fun in these weekly vlogs and grown the channel to over 75,000 subscribers. Yeah, it's hard to do that, you know? Like, to have video ideas to do every day. Like, I have a new video series I want to do on this channel, so. see what Jeffrey's doing if you're, like, not uploading videos to YouTube in a long time. Ashley and I did a lot of stuff around the Ridge House, from, like, restoring the deck to repainting the living room. I even learned how to operate a skid steer, and we cleared around, like, three acres at the Ridge House property. I also, uh, you know, drove over the, the water main and almost flipped the cat and also got stuck at a certain point and realized I should probably not be doing this and there was that one time I fell backwards and the chainsaw almost fell onto me and probably would have caught, cut me in half uh, but yeah we chopped down a lot of trees so that taught us some uh, some things how to do the wedge method and yeah as it stands right now we also now have the rigid trap which circles the entire perimeter of the property I cannot wait to be using that come this spring we got to experience the rigid pool for the first time this year in the summer even got to see Jenny swimming for the first mm -hmm. time she's a natural it's so much fun we had a really awesome little double day trip with uh land store and julia that was in cancun that was definitely a highlight minutes. of the summer on top of jeffrey and georgie got married had two what felt like back-to-back -back weddings one was a bit more traditional and the other ones we were like you know hippies back in the 70s like and naturally almost exploded <laughs> by a firework <laughs> wow <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> After what feels like seven, eight years of knowing Roman Atwood from YouTube, we finally got to meet up and hang out in person. I also embarrassed myself completely by trying to prank him. The prank was successful, but the internet ran with this thing, man. I was like bawling my eyes out, depressed. But to be honest, that was great practice for what would be the huge endeavor for this year. And that is, of course... The McJugger Nuggets movie, my first directorial debut, my feature film, nicknamed Project Gateway, which I announced, I think it was like in March of this year. I locked myself at the lake house here and wrote the script and got to announce that to my family in the movie theater back at Ridge House. And as gratifying as it was to be like, hey, we're making a movie. And I miss seeing Ridge House, you know, like That's them fun. filming at the you Ridge House. Just say you're going to do something and then... <laughs> Celebrate and not do it. <laughs> and oh my god. What's hard is this end of the year video. I want to recap the year properly, but because I can't talk about the movie in detail, then that means there's like a missing six, seven months of before we fully get into the movie, uh, I just wanted to do a shout out to Yeggs. Really had a blast having Yeggs as a fan, known him for so many years, and we're very close friends now. To know that, you know, he came out to the Ridge House to pursue content. We spent pretty much a year together, and we actually had to say goodbye to my son, my adopted child. Uh, he went back to California, my and son. that was another uh, memorable moment from this year. We had a lot of good times eating some sushi, and. Uh, oh, I like Yeggs. You know, he's a cool dude. We, we did Hope pretty we well see him us. again. We won a lot of money. Yikes, yikes, uh, definitely robbed that place. We also had a lot of blackjack streams on the channel, giving away, I think, over five, six thousand dollars this year in prize money. And I mean, this, that was up again soon. Fun, and Yeggs was really helpful in boosting the stream quality. We got multiple angles. I got, like, the stream deck, so I'm, like, a little DJ mixing, you know. Uh, this is a very cool process. Easily one of the worst moments of the year was when this roofing company stole from me and left a thousand screws in the lake house roof. These screws were jutting out into my cathedral seat. Feelings. This was like a $50,000 job. They royally botched it. I had to pretty much stay in my own Airbnb while like 10 workers put another layer of the roof slash ceiling to cover up the screws. And like about that. steals fishing poles. My man wanted to catch himself some lunch. <laughs> he wanted some spicy tuna yeah. or something. Sorry guys, I like I am still up and dressed it, so that's why I'm sniffling a bit. And... As in what would be in store for this year. Um, I want to keep my social media addiction in check, keep my sleep good, diet, exercise, all that good stuff and then slowly get content back in the game but i don't want to be grinding my face off doing two a days or dailies i feel like i do know myself better enough now to know that traditional no not doing it however i'm not going to go out of my way to pursue that stuff whereas years past i'm like yeah the movie i'm making a movie or the netflix stuff i don't know what was going through my head at the start of this year but i i did the complete opposite of what i anticipated something switched in my brain and maybe raka raka having their successful film talk to me might have like gave me the hope that I, I kind of want to watch that movie. I feel like I've just been chilling dormant long know. enough for the big idea to finally hit me and be like, this is what I need to do. And so for really most of this year, it was about this feature film. If you look at my energy, how I was in last year's end of your video to this one, I'm a bit different. I would say this year, even though there's a lot of other like personal things that happened, my aunt Amy passed away at the start of this year, which was, oh, yeah. um, it's never easy to, uh, 
lose family and loved ones and she was battling cancer for a, a long time and then just recently uh closing out the year with uh poopy john we thought he was we were gonna lose him we were gonna have to say goodbye very grateful that we were able to get him surgery yeah, I'm survive, glad John's but okay. there's been a lot of bad things this year too a lot of things also i don't know if i mentioned this but um i don't think i did but big brother uploaded his channel like yesterday um and the video was like is big brother returning to 20 2024 like pretty much is like is he gonna stop loading yeah i haven't watched it yet so i don't know what he said in the video but yeah i might check that out later but anyways it's this good went wrong <laughs> During the movie, one of what I would say our lead Nine talent minutes. uh got into a pretty bad car accident, definitely changed the course of the film. I got sick four times during the filming. Damn, four it times? was just a very challenging process, uh, where I wore so many hats. So I definitely had this energy starting off. And my mom is just doing my garbage. Now that we're coming to a close, I feel I do feel very tired. I do feel very burnt out. This process has been relentless and it's been also very hard the fact that I I haven't been able to share with you guys much it's definitely by choice but i really want to surprise everyone however despite all of that i think i can honestly say this year has been the turning point for me personally and i would attribute that all to finally deciding to take action and doing the movie also one of the biggest turning points of this year was reuniting with i would almost say just a colleague paul trout going from me burning him cast as a lead in his indie film 10 years ago to leaving him out to dry and pursuing youtube when the psycho series was blowing up we barely had any real relationship and i really i feel like i screwed him over yet fate would have it that we'd send some rogue text messages to each other and we filmed the I mean, you know those, what the it sucks that jesse screwed paul over you know but sometimes i feel like you gotta follow your dreams you know follow your heart you know, yeah, Jesse shouldn't have screwed him over. Maybe Jesse should have stayed for a film. But think about it. If he stayed, we probably wouldn't have Psycho Series, right? Who knows if we ha we would have we would have had Devil inside of MVE either. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a little decision like that, you know, changed the course of everything, right? So, much as it sucks that Jesse has screwed Paul over, look at all the great things that came from it, though. You know, Psycho Series, Devil Inside, MVE, then all the other mini miniseries in between, the Halloween and Christmas series, you know? Like, we did, we did get some good stuff from it, you know? It's unfortunate that someone had to get hurt, but some, and that's life, you know? Sometimes you gotta hurt people in order to, like, get up there, or good, sometimes, you know, that's bad now. You know, bad, sometimes bad has to happen in order for there to be good to happen, you know? Like, it sucks, but it's life, and that you have to choose one time, you know? Like, you have to figure out what, what do you think would be better for you, you know? Like, for Jesse, was it better for him to stay making a food for Paul, or, you know, and risk his, you know, and risk his himself? Or would it been better for him to quit for Paul and pursue the Psycho Series on YouTube, you know? And, and it paid off, him doing that, you know? So sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and sometimes you may have to hurt some people in the process but you know Paul and Jesse are good now they may movie together and maybe next uh Jesse can help Paul make a movie of, of, for Paul you know so we just have to wait and see but trilogy of videos on the it sucks that that channel. I, had and I feel like we that. really squashed the beef and uh lo and behold our original dp we had for the movie dropped out and paul stepped up and absolutely crushed it i couldn't be more grateful and thankful for having paul come back into my life because honestly he has been such a breath of fresh air we really leaned on each other so much through the filmmaking process he acted as an assistant director on top of the dp on top of many hats and we're here cutting the film together and are getting close i might be stupid line. but what's we dp mean does anyone know what that means of the film complete which means the the rest is i feel like just refining and without this dude none of this would have been possible because he really restored my faith in this whole process and made me really believe that i could do this in addition to all your guys support over the years and with that being said i want to talk about the new year and i'm excited to announce that paul will be joining Ridges Studios on a more official basis Woo! as the official MJN cameraman. 
I'm excited. So I like Paul, you know, he's so funny, he has a good personality. I think he fits in well. If there are to be more feature films after this, he will be the guy. He will be the guy filming YouTube videos, and he also will be the one editing videos as well. A few weeks ago, we did say goodbye to Dom, who came up and was super awesome and helping with the production of the film. Uh, but we filmed the vlog. He's, uh, he's actually moved away to Virginia now. And unfortunately, his contract's coming to an end. I know we'll see Dom uh, at the premiere and in future stuff, and it'd be awesome to uh, work together again. However, for as it stands right now, Paul will be the go-to. Which, what does that mean for next year? Or 2024, the year of... The tarantula? I don't know. Usually I do have some <laughs> tarantula. meaning for the years. For this upcoming year, I don't know. I'm just feeling tarantula. I hope I don't come across one. That would be terrifying. That's funny for tarantula because yeah. he hates this spiders. Is like the first so. year I don't have kind of some ironic. meaning for it. But maybe it'll come out at some point. Like maybe all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, that's why I call it. I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it. I don't know. I don't know. What does this mean for content? So if you notice, things are changing a little bit. This is the first end of year video that's showing up on the second channel. The second this channel is my first video of the New Year's Hill. Main place I for saw vlogs, that. real life stuff, like but then stuff also feet, maybe even yeah. narrative stuff that I just feel like is not quite good enough to be on the main channel. Because the main point of now the McJuggernaut's channel is I'm only doing videos oh, there oh. that are designed. I want to say this before I forget. Group chat. I made a community post like two days ago talking about our McJuggernaut's fan group chat on Instagram. We want more people to join. We got a new person ready to join. Shout out to Dylan. But come join us, guys. We're all cool people. We're all friends with each other. You know, it's a great place to make friends. We talk about um, Jesse's videos, but we talk about just other stuff, too. Not just Jesse. It's mostly Jesse. Um, we do have a list of rules. But, they're, they're, you know, there's the base rules, like no bullying and, like, stuff like that. But come join. Just DM me on my KC So Juggy account. Not my fan page. My, my main Instagram page. Um, it's in the description. Link's in the description. It's, it's KC So Juggy. Something like that. It was a case. Yeah, Casey's so jerky. Um, DM me on there and I'll add you. Or you can search it up yourself. But you, I mean, I do have to approve you, but... Yeah, I am the mod of that um, fan page. But you can come join us. We have a bunch of people in the way. We always have fun talking about, like, when he uploads a new video. We give our opinions on things. We have fun, you know, it's fun. So if you're, I don't know, I'm just saying, like, any juggy fans out there, like, uh, come join our group chat. It's a great way to make friends. And like, if you're bored, you can hop in, chat to people. You know, like we're all in the chat at different times. So like, it's just fun. And like, we all do, do our own channels too, and our own creative stuff. So we all share that too in the group chat, our channels and stuff. And it's just really fun. So I do recommend you guys come join. We would love to have some more people in there. Just because you know, I enjoy. I enjoy talking to people, especially about Jesse. And his videos and stuff. So, like, I think it would be fun. You know, and we have... And there, shout out to Jacob. He's commented on my videos before. Juggernaut. Andrew. Um, some of these people who I'm talking about, I have their channel description. In, the, in my description, their channel links. Check them out, Dan. Calum. Shout out to Calum. Uh, Jada. Or Juggy Nation. She goes by Juggy Nation on Instagram. That's her fan page for Jesse. Who else am I missing? I feel like I'm missing someone. Good. Sorry, my name is Jam. Collarwood. You guys might know Collarwood. She's a big juggy. Um, and she's big in the juggy community. She's in our group chat. She talks from time to time in there. It's just a really fun time, guys. So come join. I just wanted to say this before I forget. But yeah, come join the group well chat. On the algorithm. That doesn't mean I'm like completely selling my soul because I still want to do videos that I'm Five passionate minutes. about, have fun with, that I feel like there's some kind of story or mm -hmm. emotional impact there. Yeah, because if I'm you're not having fun sure making videos, then what's the point? Then they're not going to be that great of videos, years, right? I feel like things have been very stagnant. I mean, kind of low key depressed. Having Paul around, I'm feeling excited and, and Ashley's motivated and she's been killing it with streams and stuff lately that we want to see what happens when views return. When the community grows again and everyone's excited for what's to come and so really for the first few months of the year it is still going to be dedicated towards the feature film i'm excited to announce that the movie will be released next year i don't foresee any other reason why that wouldn't be the case and so there's going to be a big premiere a big release we'll see what happens with whether we get into tribeca or not or can film festival i'll update you guys as that happens make sure you follow me on all socials but that will really dictate a lot will we make another feature 
feature film after that. I don't know. I think it could be cool. And then beyond that, we want to come back to YouTube and content uh, in a more serious way. Paul and I have learned a tremendous amount from this film experience, and we want to bring that over to YouTube. And I know it sounds like all talk because you guys haven't seen anything yet, but I think once you guys see what we've been working on for the last, say, nine months, everyone will be pretty shocked. And I think we'll be rest assured that once we have more time on our hands that we can then dedicate to YouTube content, I think we can really kind of change how things operate on the platform. We also want to potentially get more merch-related items. The poster sold tremendously. You guys showed a lot of support for what was, I think, a really cool design. And I think it'd be dope to get just better quality stuff that as it relates to content coming out of the McGerrans channel. Paul and I have a million ideas. We're talking about series. We're talking about mini-series. We're talking about one-off, bigger videos. We're talking about TikTok, short-form content. All kinds of things that not only will grow, but will also be fun as heck to I'm film excited. and watch. I want to film more videos with my family, whether it's Larry's Lounge or my parents or even maybe even getting Jeffrey back in videos. And I want to involve more of you guys. We actually filmed with a lot of you guys during the movie process, and it was a blast. Potentially do some more blackjack streams and maybe even rolling out some new features for as far as memberships go and live streams. I would also like to travel a bit more this year as much as I can without I ain't trying to get sick. And on the topic of sick, uh, health again is going to be a major priority this year. I realized after getting sick so many times during the movie, especially that, like, now with the his heart issues, he's going to have to be careful. But the, the good thing with Jesse, you know, yes, he has the heart issues now, but. He's young and he's healthy, you know, he eats right, he exercises, so he's in pretty good, like, shape and condition. So he should be okay, you know, as long as he continues to take care of himself. You know, he he's good though, you know what I mean? He He's he's where he should be, which is good, you know? He's not unhealthy, he's not overweight, so like, that's all pluses for him, and that's really works in his favor. So he has a lot in his favor right now, in terms of his health issues, so... I'm glad for Jesse. I do hope he continues to do better. I hope he doesn't have any more health scares. He also said in that post too when he updated us that they found swelling like in the area where he had his surgery back in 2016. So that's a little weird. Hopefully that's nothing to be concerned about. But Jesse, man, I know you're not watching, but I'm excited for 2024. I'm excited for your movie. Good luck with your health, man. You know, take care of yourself. That's the number one priority, you know? We love you. Us druggies just want you to be okay. We love your content, but, you know. We, we we want you to take care of yourself first and foremost, foremost before worrying about videos. So take care of yourself, man. Good luck with your movie. You have a great new year. Shout out to you too, Paul. I'm excited to see you, you in more videos and filming videos. Um, so that's going to be exciting. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. I can't do this. Two minutes. <laughs> I can't operate like that. As much as I want to feel like I'm in my early 20s again doing like two videos a day and i see all these like creators coming up and they're killing it and then i'm like oh i miss the grind i miss doing that but then i actually try to get back into it and i'm just like i'm just get i get tired quicker i'm slower i gotta like take more breaths and i swear man it's like getting covid twice now that like we don't fully know the long-term effects of it it just makes you think you know so as much as i'm like bullheaded and want to get back to it and want to promise these grand things i also just want to temper expectations of which i've done in prior years because to be honest i really don't know what the future holds you never know when there's gonna be like a health scare or a family thing and with the rsv you know, going around too macro level that affects everybody and so if my health is not in check then i can't really give you guys anything that definitely is the priority moving exactly. forward so guys be don't be too hard on jess you know give him a break let him so focus I on his health make, you know because he's not gonna be good to us if he's not healthy so right guys, if he's sick uh, cheers. so I'm looking forward you know i know we love the videos but you guys just have patience and i couldn't be more excited for you to finally watch all the hard work that we put into this film i hope that you'll appear at whatever premiere we do have and just know that this has been the most emotional journey for me it during this process i can't wait to maybe share behind the scenes and more things that took place potentially be a year where majority United is really back on the map and people can see what you guys have I seen i hope we get bts from the movie years, a talented storyteller and the emotional compelling narratives and we can all kind of be proud together and maybe in return uh, they could inspire inspire you guys to maybe pursue that crazy ambitious thing that you're afraid to tackle because that's why it's the turning point year for me 
2023, I will miss you. And the most important thing is that I feel like I restored so much trust and confidence in myself again, despite all the costs and risks associated. And no matter what success the movie reaches or failure in 2024, I... I freaking did it. Wouldn't be here without you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Drop some likes on the video, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in 2024. Let's try to make it special. Keep it frigid, y'all. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a good end of your video. I'm excited for the movie and everything. Um, so, for my 2024 goals, you know, I want to continue to grow this channel. You know, like, I love making videos. I want to continue that. I want to get, you know... Back into doing my series talk time on here. That when I upload a video every Friday of that. I have a new series that I don't want to spoil too much. That I want to start. Which maybe I'll start to do that this week. But like I said, you know. I'm still just trying to rest up. Since I'm still a little sick. You know. So I'm sorry this hasn't been videos. And I know. I want to get that Christmas haul video up. So I, I, I might film that after this video. Well after I upload this. But you know. Because I'm excited to film that. And get that out. But yeah. And as for my gaming channel, I can't guarantee anything with that. I'm going to try and upload it on it as much as I could. But, um, like I said, no guarantees, no promises of anything. <laughs> you know. I'm going to be, and I want to focus on my main channel to grow that. Because I'm not, <laughs> I didn't even hit the button. I am close to getting monetized, you know. And that is my goal. I know you guys might think, oh, you just care about the money. I don't, but I also want this to be my job, you know, and if I get can make money off this, I can do bigger and crazier videos and better videos. I mean, I don't think my videos are bad now, but you know what I mean. Like, I can really expand myself in this channel. Maybe if people see I'm making money off this, I, maybe they, they would want to make videos for me. Like, I would like to make videos with my friend, you know? Like, I know I make videos with my sister. But I have this one video that I, want, I would love to do with my sister and my friend, but I know she wouldn't do it. Uh, I want, I would love to do the, um, who knows me better, my best friend or my sister, but, you know, that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'm excited for the new year. I'm gonna try to do more vlogs and stuff, but, um, my shirt's messed up. But, yeah, so, gaming channel, I'm, I'm not gonna make any guarantees with. I am gonna upload on there. I don't know when I'll upload on it again. But, yeah, so I just, you know, I, I encourage you to go subscribe to my gaming channel. Because I do want to upload more on it and, like, do more with it. But I'm not going to guarantee anything. Because I just don't know what's going to happen, you know? And because I want this channel to be my priority. Because this is important to me. But I love you guys so much. Please subscribe. Let's continue to grow this channel for the new year. Guys, please, please follow me on my socials. Follow everyone in the description. Please subscribe to me. Please like and please comment. I love you, Anna, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Shoot.